Hi students, this is Dr. Nisha Vashni once again with one more chapter of geography that is manufacturing industries. So we have to practice a lot in SST. Please take chapter and test after every, te uh, after every lecture. Manufacturing industry is our second last chapter of geography which is based on the previous chapter. In the previous chapter we did minerals uses of minerals how many minerals are find, found in india and uh, which category of minerals are more so it is very simple that uh, those minerals are converted in finished goods where are they converted in factories in industries okay then only they can be sold out correct so we have minerals but the issue is that we don't have enough industries to convert them into finished goods. Maybe lack of technology, maybe lack of economical help, financial help or maybe lack of understanding or skill. It could be anything. Here we need to understand that section of our economy uh, that we have done in economics chapter 2, sectors of economy, primary, secondary and tertiary. So in secondary we see this manufacturing and industries okay that we are going to cover in this chapter and you will be benefited by understanding this chapter in terms of if you would like to start with your own uh, factory or industry you would like to put up because you know that um, India is now basically uh, coming to uh, vocal for local so you have to learn what all industries are there and where is the career option available for you to start your own industry or a factory or a business correct so let us understand the secondary sector of economy meaning manufacturing sector manufacturing means this is simple lang language to create something in finished product it could be done at home also earlier our people were into this only that is why they are also known as cottage industries they are also known as cottage industries so cottage industries were very used were, were uh, uh, much in high demand before british came into and they have fin they have actually closed down those cottage industry and brought up big industries and which has brought lot of issues also because many people got unemployed after coming up their industries but today the time has changed industrial revolution across the globe has brought this need to create something on your own so we cannot get away with this but we need to increase percentage of people to come back and create something of their own which is called cottage industry or you can say they can start up with the uh, small unit or big unit depending upon the amount they have in their hand fine so we have here uh, first uh, uh, bracket uh, one example Harish went to a market with his parents and he sees so many things and he buys so many products and all the products are made in factory so this is a one uh, beautiful uh, you know festival example in which you see so much in the market and you ask where are they being manufactured so production of goods in large quantities after processing from raw material to more valuable product is called manufacturing the first four line three lines write down the first question what is manufacturing it seems very easy who will ask this question but if it comes it is very difficult to write so production in a large quantity from raw material to finished goods is known as manufacturing as i've discussed uh, previously we were into the cottage industry so every household had small type of manufacturing unit in their own house with the help of their family members or neighbors or you can say at village level fine now let us move to the un to understanding importance of manufacturing importance yes importance how why should we go into this field and no doubt and uh, you are also aware of it that india is not doing much in this sector in manufacturing category so manufacturing industries not only help in modernizing agriculture which form the backbone of our economy they also reduce heavy dependence on people on agriculture so first is employment generation Second, it is, uh, it is providing us valuable goods, uh, income to the country and industrial development is a precondition for educa education, eradication of unemployment and poverty from our country. Correct. And if you are manufacturing something, so you are going to sell it internal uh, internal market as well as in international market once you are doing it for international market as we did in chapter agriculture so much spices and coffee is being sold outside the country this is called export so what do you get it you get lot of foreign exchange yes so that foreign exchange helps in getting income in the country 
नेक्स्ट सो कंट्रीज दैट ट्रांसफॉर्म देयर रॉ मटीरियल इन टू वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ फर्निश्ड गुड्स ऑफ हायर वैल्यू आर प्रॉस्पेरस सो यू कैन सी ऑल दी वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज आर प्रॉस्पेरस बिकॉज एवरी थिंग दे मैन्युफैक्चर एट दर प्लेस एंड दे सेल इट टू द वर्ल्ड टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ चाइना योर नेबरिंग कंट्री सो टुडे इन चाइना इज मेकिंग ईच एंड एवरी थिंग विच इज यूज इन इंडियन हाउस होल्ड राइट फ्रॉम दिया that is not their festival but they are manufacturing for whom in the world diwali is celebrated only in india and by the indians so he is manufacturing something which should be you know uh, manufactured only in india and used in india so certain things uh, so it has helped china to prosper right so here we have to be very cautious that is why we are focusing on vocal for local or skill india development to start something on their own rather depending on any other country for their manufacturing products okay so here first question what is manufacturing second question importance of manufacturing correct third question agriculture and industry go hand in hand explain so answer is very simple agriculture provides raw material to the industries and industries make tools fertilizers for the agriculture so they go hand in hand so if agriculture uh, is improving so industries will definitely improve if industries are improving so agriculture will also get the benefit of uh, better tools and fertilizers okay so pvc pipes machines tools are being manufactured in industries to be provided to the farmer so they can grow better so i hope this question is also clear written here not no uh, uh, no difficult word is mentioned you can write your your own how industries and agriculture go hand in hand next um, we have contribution of industry to the national economy which is uh, very uh, you know uh, painful to see that that uh, we have only 27 pro- uh, 7% production uh, contribution in gdp by the secondary sector only 27% and which 17% is from factories or industries 17 10% is from where 10% is from mining quarrying and gas and manufacturing of electricity or gas fine so in uh, clubbed if we club both of them then we have 27% so to see that we have um, started up with the one uh, you can say uh, organization in mcc that is national manufacturing competitiveness council basically objective of this to help industries to grow so our target is to achieve 7% growth per annum more than 7% because we have been stuck to 7% so we want to achieve 12% that is our target but we have not been able to achieve beyond 9% every year so that is being calculated every year that how much we have grown from last year to this year so nmcc is an organization set up by the government of india just to help industrial or industries to improve their manufacturing process or to provide them help support so they can grow and develop more to sell their product to the uh, uh, international market correct so this is the second question will not come in any paragraph only one marker will come what is nmcc what is the percentage of uh, contribution of secondary sector in gdp only one marker don't need to just underline and learn the third question industrial location so to start let us now assume um, uh, let us uh, assume that you want to start a industry think which you want to start with toy industry cosmetic industry cloth industry just assume for a moment till we are doing this chapter so it will be easy for us to go by this chapter just uh, assume um, pen factory or book factory or laptop factory any 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 manufacturing unit okay think you have thought up uh, you have to think where you would like to put up your industry you need to see so many factors those factors we are going to consider here correct first of all you need raw material you think whatever industry you would like to start with cloth so you need cotton okay uh, if you want to start with the pen factory so you need what uh, this petrochemical as a raw material if you want to start with a laptop then you need iron or a steel raw material correct you want to start with the raw, uh, then you should know availability of raw material easily second uh, and where is uh, you are going to start with the factory so there has to be electricity water infrastructure road transportation 
from to and fro from raw material and to the can to sell the your product third you need labor you need qualified labor or you need semi skilled labor or you need unskilled labor that you have to list down okay then you have to see where would you sell your product market internal market international market that is important next money below 1 crore or less than 1 crore or more than 10 crores which category of industry you are going to start up with for example if you want to start with a uh, uh, agarbatti in incense stick you want to start you don't need more than 20000 for that okay so got my point money market labor infrastructure uh, and um, important thing the raw material and apart from this in the end if your industry needs license government approval so how many licenses you have if you want to start with any food eatery hotel you need 40 or 50 license from government of india for, of different you know uh, departments everything you need to consider after considering all of them you have to be matlab you know, comfortable that your industry should be located see here we have a two figured 6.1 and 6.2 we are doing it in a collaboration so above one was the fundamental requirement and the below one is the ideal location so ideal means there has to be cost of maintaining raw material should be less cost of production site should be kept in mind and location of factory as well as distribution of product here we are talking about the market fine so everything has to be kept in mind before deciding the ideal location of the industry correct so you will ask what you have to write you have to mention all of them but in a different heads for industrial location we need following factors dik 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 and for industry ideal location then you can draw this chart which will be helpful in getting you good marks fine if you draw anything in a flow chart or a cloud chart or anything your teacher uh, gets impressed because she knows that you have actually learned it rather just writing para 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 okay so if you put both of them in a systematic way in a five marker question you will get full marks i hope it is clear to you first of all what is industrial location what why it is so crucial to understand where i should put up my industry correct after that let us classify industries also we have classified resources we have classified minerals let us classify our industry so here we have five categories to classify the first one is which raw material you want you need raw material from agriculture or you need raw material from mining so i have give you gave you two examples that if you want to start with the cloth industry so you need raw material from agriculture and if you want to start with the laptop industry you need what steel from mining industry correct so your raw material is coming from agriculture or your raw material is coming from mines so it depends so first category is agro based or second is mineral based clear second is according to the main role assume you want to start with the steel raw material industry and other industries will buy raw steel from you and they will manufacture their swing machine their um, uh, what do you say that any kind of a machine uh, uh, mixy mix uh, mixture or small in, uh, uh, or oven fridge so they will buy steel from you so what you want to start with you want to start with a basic industry or you want to you want to start with the consumer industry assume you want to start to manufacture a swing machines so swing machines would be your consumer industry and if you want to start with the steel industry to to manufacture steel only then that would be a basic industry so 90% people would fall into what uh, into consumer industry okay next we have capital investment more than 1 crore will go into large investment and more less than 1 crore will go go into small scale investment that you can read on next we have ownership if you are doing it yourself single handedly then it will be called a private but there are so many industries which are owned by the government that is called public that we did in chapter 2 economic sector of indian economy division of ownership and if assume mukesh ambani and government of india are doing some business together so that would be called a joint venture okay and the fourth one assume 100 farmers coming together to uh, uh, sell their dairy products like amul then this was that would be called a cooperative ownership where there is no single person is owner 
हंड्रेड फार्मर्स आर ओनर्स टू कहता सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द क्लासिफिकेशन तो वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट सॉर्ट ऑफ इंडस्ट्री यू आर इन टू देन एंड लास्ट वी हैव वट इज योर इंडस्ट्रीज बल्कि और हैवी इफ यू आर मेकिंग पेन इट विल बी इट विल बी अ लाइट इंडस्ट्री इफ यू आर मेकिंग कार्स देन इट विल बी अ हैवी इंडस्ट्री सो यू हैव टू क्लासीफाई अंडर फाइव कैटेगरीज हेड्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अप और पुटिंग अप योर इंडस्ट्री सो थिंक ऑफ योर इंडस्ट्री वंस अगैन एंड राइट हेयर ओनली विद द पेंसिल दैट योर इंडस्ट्री इज दिस सो वेयर विल इट फॉल एग्रो मिनरल बेसिक कंज्यूमर मोर देन वन करोड़ लेस देन वन करोड़ जॉइंट प्राइवेट पब्लिक कोऑपरेटिव एंड हैवी और लाइट एवरीथिंग यू थिंक ऑफ योर इंडस्ट्री करेक्ट so after classifying them let us start from the agro industry so we are going to do only mineral based industries here uh, sorry uh, first classification is your um, raw material so on the basis of raw material we are going to see the industries of india and their contribution and their progress correct so in agro based we are going to see first is your textile in which we are going to do cotton second we are going to do jute third we are going to do sugar cane right so we are going to see here three industries of india how are we doing okay and are we uh, doing some good job or not uh, and what all challenges are we facing so textile industry is a large chain in which all types of manufacturing of cloth would fall into so on a large term we are just looking looking at the points of textile industry hmm so uh, textile industry contributes 14% of industrial production in india where 35 million people are employed very good amount and it directly contributes 4% in gdp yes total 400 out of 100 4 rupee is coming from uh, textile industry and it is it is complete in value chain and self reliant means it is giving so much work to other industries as well it is not independent so it has a complete value chain if a shirt is being manufactured for that you need cloth you need printing you need uh, button industry separately you need colors you need color industry separately designs you need separately you need um, swing uh, you know industry where these are being you know uh, sewn shirts in a different design and then you need packaging industry then you need marketing industry to sell your product so so many industries are directly dependent on textile industry so this is complete in value chain that is why 35 million people are engaged correct so in that we are just looking at one part of it that is called cotton cotton industry as a textile so you know very well how is cotton manufactured so cotton is manufactured in um, the raw material is coming from agriculture only fine and 18th century we started with the power looms before that we were doing with the hand spinning correct so we used to make our fabric with the hands only so that is why india's cotton was famous worldwide then small machine industries came up this is known as power loom with the help of little power or electricity they are being run and today in india we have 1600 cotton and human made fiber textile mills and um, yes we are facing lot of competition because we are able to make good yarn yarn means the thread which is used to manufacture the cotton but the fabric is made best by china and it is our competitor and that fabric is being in the more in demand in international market correct so uh, here we see 80% of uh, cotton mills or small industries are in private sector so we have covered everything it is a light industry comparatively right and it requires yes more than 1 crore and it is uh, privately owned and uh, it is uh, not a basic industry it is a consumer industry so every category you can put it here and we they are also providing work to other industries basically so that is complete in value chain which will which we did in textile industry correct so which places we have more industries It's maharashtra gujarat tamil nadu south india again because in south india only we have a black soil and black soil is good to grow cotton and we did in ideal location if your raw material is available easily there you 
put up your factory else it will be very expensive because it will add your cost of taking uh, raw material from the source correct that is why wherever it is being produced cotton is produced so there you have textile industries is that clear next can we come to the 5.1 we have some mills number of mills share of production 6% power looms 54% and hand looms hath se bani hui are we have 23% okay and there is one question in given in italic why did mahatma gandhi lay emphasize on spinning yarn and weaving khadi because he wanted to give work to all the people he said if machines will come so what will happen unemployment will be there people will have no work if all of them are making uh, cloth from their hands so they all will have work so his point of view is good from that angle of employment but uh, if you see speed and quality so we can see in machines they are better off so it was that time when gandhi ji was uh, gandhi was more into uh, you know uh, uh, conserving employment for the people next question we have why is it important for our country to keep the mill sector loomage lower than power loom and hand looms uh, loomage here means the fabric so uh, the thing is that in india our fabric is uh, our uh, sorry yarn is being sold to the international market and we are left with small amount of uh, yarn so good quality of yarn means thread is sold to the world to other countries because we get foreign exchange and these people are able to make good fabric rather indians that is the more challenging thing that is why we are lagging behind a little so we have to work in that particular area so india export yarn to japan and importers of those who are importers of cotton goods from india are usa uk so these these people buy yarn not fabric if they would start buying fabric so we will make a lot of money out of it correct so these were the whatever we have discussed you have to write what do you mean by write down the features of textile industries oblique cotton industries so you have to write each and everything how are they being manufactured uh, number of uh, mills power mills power looms are there and next and the last challenges faced by this industry so here we have to look at carefully what can we be, uh, be done to um, control this issue so first of all we should not um, uh, that competition we should reduce we should not export yarn one two we should provide good electricity because uh, power looms face electricity shortage third we should provide them good skills how to create make better hand loom product so that has demand in the international market right so power supply uh, lack of uh, less competition good machines and good skills will help indians to do wonders in this particular industry so we did features of uh, textile industries problem faced by text features of textile industries features of cotton industry and problem faced by the cotton in textile industry correct so we did three questions here under agro based next we have jute industry so jute as i have discussed in agriculture chapter we have only one competition with bangladesh they manufacture better so in india have only 70 jute mills found only in west bengal hogli river there we have a network or there uh, since big since uh, uh, ages we have uh, production of jute in that particular area only and there are certain uh, factors that are responsible to produ production of jute are that they are made up of hand so we need lot of hand labor and hand labor has become expensive nowadays that is why these machines are, they, these factories are being closed down yes jute mills are being closed down and they are facing stiff competition with plastic industry as you know that plastic has a more life and it is very cheap as compared to jute bag if you buy from the market it will not cost you less than 150 or 200 rupee but that is again and you have to wash it here plastic comes in free you use it and throw it you hardly bother about it so certain things are being faced so uh, west bengal kolkata in kolkata we have good banking sector where which insurance sector port facilities are also there which has which has been uh, facilitating in uh, manufacturing jute correct and helping these industries so 2.61 lakh workers are here directly involved and 40 lakhs small and marginal farmers are also involved in this process and the challenges are there which i have discussed stiff competition with the synthetic uh, 
fiber and plastic and other countries are doing very well they have cheaper jute products like egypt thailand and philippines it is given here so to protect our jute industry government of india has started with a national jute policy of 2005 in which objective is to replace plastic with the jute products and uh, providing the manufacturers a forum where they can sell their product in international market as well as to start uh, like delhi hard and uh, jute uh, the uh, cottage industries concept to products to sell and show to the uh, people in cities where they can sell their products so this jute policy is helping a lot uh, of uh, small farmers to sell their products so what would be the question what are the features of jute industries one second write down the challenges faced by jute industry this questions comes many times then last paragraph you can see on page number 70 above sugar industry so that is the next question of jute industry i hope so far things are clear to you jute industry features and the challenges next and the last in agro based industry we have sugar industry I know I don't have to tell you as I've already told you in agriculture chapter we are number one in making wood, khan and, sh and shakkar and sugar also but um, uh, China is doing very well but we are making in wood right and we have 460 sugar mills and uh, sugar can, can be grown in any soil it takes one year to grow and uh, the only issue of uh, sugar cane is that after crushing it the leftover which is called bagas is uh, how to use it but still but today we are making you know you are cleaning uh, juna you say scrubber to clean utensils out of that and out of leftover of the coconut uh, hair also so this can be uh, th these are being manufactured nowadays and uh, they are the uh, earlier they were in north india sugar mills but they are now shifted to the south india second question please write down first question would be features of sugar industries second question why sugar industries have been shifted to south india the answer is that in uh, uh, north india the climate is harsh i mean to say that if there is a hot summer so the content the juice of the sugar gets dries up easily and quickly and as compared to the south india the climate is comparatively moderate and moist which helps in containing its uh, juice for a longer period of a time which helps sugar industries to crush it later on and can manufacture sugar out of it okay so this is the and the use of bagasse has also been into the market now so we are looking at that some challenges as well as some of the good part of manufacturing sugar in india we have 460 mills and all of them are into cooperative sector as we discussed power looms and cotton industries are in private sector here we see cooperatives are much into manufacturing sugar correct next we have the category of mineral based we did three agro based now let us start with the mineral based so first we have here iron and steel i think iron ores wherever you have iron ore you will have iron industry there only because it will take a lot of cost otherwise to take this to there and it will be much expensive for any industry so to make steel out of iron you need 4 is to 2 is to 1 ratio of what you need iron ore coking coal and limestone 4 is to 2 is to 1 ratio but problem is that India lack coking coal we have limestone and we have iron ore so that is why we uh, little uh, bit of it becomes expensive for us however India is manufacturing 32.8 million of steel every year and per person we consume it 32 kg per year per person do we eat it no we don't eat it consumption means if you are using metro metro is running day and night day and night so gradually within five years six years or eight years the coach the uh, you know in which you travel will get depleted okay so that is why it got rust down it will break down so you cannot use it for uh, further years so that consumption is calculated in such a way so 32 kg per annum per capita consumption is here in india and 6.4 figure is given how to manufacture steel so that is a small process 
you have to do it why it may come in the board exam by erasing one of the box and others are filled up so you have to think what you have to put into that so first is transport you have taken then it is melted a limestone and coking coal is mixed up heated up and now it is uh, manufactured in pig called pig iron then uh, steel from pig iron is further purified and oxidized and magnesium is added into it nickel is added into it then you have final metal in your hand which can be used to manufacture various other articles this is called steel so here 6.4 is very important and you have map on page number 72 iron and steel plant very similar to the minerals of chapter 5 wherever you have iron ore there you have iron and steel plants okay so things you will find the similar here that we will do next why is per capita consumption of steel so slow in india low why low reason being because <laughs> as compared to the western countries not everyone every household of india is having car we don't have acs at home we don't have so much you know things which are made up of uh, steel in every household that is the only reason that we have low per capita consumption and one more question two more questions are given in bracket first is many steel plants are smaller have electrical furnace so, sorry question is given hmm. uh, a scrap and uh, so, uh, they have re-roller and then steel uh, here the question is that presently there are 10 primary integrated and many um, uh, i uh, uh, read answer actually the question is given on the top uh, India is only having 10 integrated mini steel plants. Why? So answer is given this. Why India has mini steel plants? So answer is given because we use steel scrap sponges though and uh, that is why we have small small plants not bigger ones because everything cannot be put under one roof. So they are found in small small places and we look for integrated steel plant. So there is a need next question could be why there is a need for integrated steel plant integrated means you have a large uh, you know setup where everything can be there but in India if it is mined here it is half of uh, manufacturing is done here half of manufacturing is done at some other place then it is going to the uh, major main market from there it is being sold so why can't we put all of them under one roof that is an important aspect so we need integrated steel plant in india so question why do we need integrated steel plants okay and we have private players and public players both sales steel authority of india government tata uh, industries are your private player and uh, we are doing well also in steel trade 2.25 percent we have done steel steel trade means we have sold our steel products to the world so we are improving it and um, high grade of raw material in proximity cheap labor and vast growth potential in home market though india is an important iron and steel producing country in the world yet we are not able to perform to our full potential so these are the last few challenges written here and i have also discussed coking coal is also not found in india lower production of labor labors are not that skilled and irregular supply of energy that i have discussed in case of sugar industry and poor infrastructure machines are not good and industries are not well uh, constructed so th this last paragraph was the question what problems were fa are faced by the steel industry features of steel industries the position of india and why do we need integrated steel plants next question and the last challenges faced by steel industry in india however liberalization the policy of lpg of 1991 i have discussed in economics as well have uh, improved foreign investors to invest in india and to use our raw material and to manufacture car or anything as i've discussed in uh, globalization ford example making manufacturing of ford cars right that is connected here so you can relate because he was a uh, rich person he came here he invested here he used our raw material and we started manufacturing cars okay next we have aluminium smelting so again aluminium is a raw material from alumina bauxite that we did in last chapter which helps in making very light uh, weight products and 
durable which has a long life as compared to iron and rust proof also so no need to tell you the uses of uh, aluminium and how it is manufactured and we have eight aluminium smelting plant given here and very uh, good to use and we are doing very well you need to remember the states maharashtra tamil nadu chhattisgarh west bengal uttar pradesh and kerala right so here one issue is that they also need regular supply of electricity and uh, uh, low, uh, the industry the industry uh, industrial people need the those who are industrial they want to start with aluminium regular supply of electricity and raw material should be little cheap because the costing of raw material is little high correct so this was there only in aluminium uh, industry 6.8 please go through that box again how is aluminium manufactured correct so this box you should always remember fine after that we have um, chemical industries chemical industries you know chemicals are used everywhere in every product chemical is used right from the cosmetics shampoo bleach or uh, making of clothes or uh, uh, in uh, agriculture chemicals are used so we have chemical industries which contribute 3% in our gdp so that means chemicals are most sought, sought after they are demanded everywhere and their market is also very good so it is written here fertilizer synthetic fiber plastic adhesive plants nitric and detergent soaps everywhere everywhere you see what chemicals are being produced are used okay so chemical industry is also doing good but we look for organic chemicals not for inorganic inorganic is harmful for the nature so here we have given organic chemical plants are located near oil refineries or petrochemical plants which is um, most sought after organic which is naturally being manufactured with the help of natural substances next we have fertilizers so they are directly linked to your agriculture fertilizers are used only in agriculture industry so as a student of science you know that the fertilizers are manufactured with the dap that is ammonia phosphate and uh, all this uh, uh, fertilizers are uh, manufactured in industries india has 57 fertilizers manufacturing unit and the important states are tamil nadu uttar pradesh punjab so again in uh, recent years on chemicals fertilizers the uh, questions have been minimum or you can say negligible you so it just for information just go through that number of plants and the states and the uses of every manufacturing unit next we have cement again it is completely based on limestone as a raw material and without cement industry we cannot do any manufacture or any construct construction activity so it started its cement plant in 1904 in chennai the first one today we have more than 128 large uh, plants and 332 mini cement plants so and uh, we are uh, actually the market we have we are selling it outside uh, outside country also east india middle east africa south asia so these are the important places which we have where we have the market of cement industry okay next we have automobile industry which is very um, uh, well understood that after 1990 lpg policy so uh, many uh, automobile industries have industry uh, invested in india and we have a, a lot of cars now every second house has a car or a two wheeler so we have a lot of automobile industries doing very well in last 15 years through foreign direct investment it is return here so 15 manufacturer of passenger cars and multi uh, utility vehicles we have in delhi gurgaon mumbai pune so these are the important places of manufacturing of automobile industries here you have to just look at the important information and next one is your it industry which is very important this is very important out of all in industries iron industry iron and steel aluminium then you have this it is very important it industry you are making softwares so here the brain is being used you are producing software and selling so which cannot be seen but it is being transported uh, through internet okay so here we are doing number 1 we have 30% people uh, engaged in bpo business processing outsourcing where call centers in, uh, are associated with these software so in india we have software engineers and in india we have call centers so both of both these industries have been mushroomed after coming up of the computers or internet from last 20 
30 years or more and interestingly in this particular industry maximum are women employed yes so if there are 30 percent women are women employment uh, women are employed so this is very safe industry for them because day and night they are being provided so many facilities so it industry is doing very well in india in terms of manufacturing software call centers and providing safety security for women uh, employees okay so after that we have completed almost 10 industries here you can count calculate we have done almost 10 industries their contribution to ggp you have to write all of the features features of all of them states important factors and standing of india if any and challenges also so 10 10 questions are there small or big depending upon the uh, availability of information we have correct and last these industries create a lot of pollution i am not going into detail what is pollution air pollution noise pollution land pollution you all are aware of it but you should revise it it is given very well air pollution so what all poisonous gas we have carbon dioxide monoxide smoke and we are polluting our environment a lot correct water pollution we are throwing garbage into the water we have killed our yamuna and ganga because of that heavy material chemicals and uh, water bodies uh, animals are dying in water bodies correct and uh, uh, contaminated water we are drinking directly or indirectly we are killing ourselves and next we have thermal pollution coke left over of coal is being thrown openly and which is creating lot of issues of smoke and being eaten by the animals and the soil is being deteriorated land is being degraded because of uh, this thermal pollution and noise pollution because of the sound cracky sound all the time drilling machines uh, people are getting irritated they have high bp they have low memory you know because of if you are into noise most of the time yes noise and loud sound you will reduce your cognitive abilities later on in after uh, 40 years of your age late age that has become more challenging nowadays fine so now noise pollution the how industries cause pollution types of pollution very easy to understand next how can we control it so there are certain options are given first of all every industry should have their own water management plan minimizing use of water should be there it should not be thrown in the rivers one to clear yeah, that water reuse that water if uh, and create green belt around your area so the poisonous gas should not go out and contain uh, and treating uh, uh, this um, contaminated water has some process of uh, screening cleaning flocculation sedimentation these are certain processes that can be done in your factory itself so for that you have to invest a more earlier the waste is being thrown in the river no uh, responsibility today if you want to get license so if you want to get license and proper uh, certification that you have to manage at your disposal at your um, um, factory only you cannot dispose in the uh, water bodies correct so and the smoke smoke stickers can be used so poisonous gas should not go out for noise there are license uh, uh, what do you say silencers so you you cannot uh, you know throw your noise outside Li uh, silencers are there so few things are mentioned here which i have just discussed you can go through this paragraph very easy to understand not that difficult write down the question how can we manage pollution if there is a uh, there are steps asked of water so one two three are particularly for water management and next paragraph is for others that is mix of um, noise uh, air and land and the above one is particularly for water so how to um, protect water degradation or control water pollution the first paragraph the second paragraph what are the other techniques to control pollution and last one we have NTPC is an organization write a short note on NTPC this is an organization which provides you license after seeing all the factors that you have checked upon and you have covered that you are protecting your environment then they will provide you license else they will not provide you the license so uh, they optimize utilization of equipment they check your in, uh, equipments are they uh, re uh, running right or not if they are old uh, change them 
noise pollution, water pollution, then they will provide you the certificate. So this is the last question of NTPC. What are its um, objective and what is its uh, purpose to be made? So do all the questions of NCRT. Hope uh, this chapter is clear to you. This was the last portion. Again, take your chapter and test else it will not solve our purpose that you are doing SST properly. For any query, I am just a mail away or call away. Thank you.